Jenny, um, I'm a big fan of click meeting. I'm going to show you why. So I'm on the system now. I'm going to schedule an event. I'm going to schedule our, our event. So I click on schedule event. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it how to teach online express publishing. Okay, that's going to be the name of the event. So I then need to give it a time. So we, we're going to do this event on Friday and the time is going to be in the UK, it's going to be four o'clock in the afternoon. I can change the actual uh, time. So that's going to obviously be uh, 1600 hours. So just change that over to 16. Just put that in there and then it could last for up to two hours. So I'll just give it a duration of two hours. All right. So now I've created the room. Now, what I'm going to do now, which is really powerful, is I'm going to click on uh, create an invite. So that's actually going to create the room for me. And what I'm going to do now is just come back to the schedule. And I can actually now organize that. So we've got teaching online, this one here that we're going to be doing together. All right. I'm going to come into edit. And this is what I love. I can now set up loads of things. First of all, I can have automatic registration so that teachers can just register for this event. And all I need to do is turn that on. OK, so it's going to ask for their name. It's going to ask for their last name and it's going to ask for their email email address. So in a minute, it will create a link for me. I just send that link out. or I put that link in on uh, webinars or sorry, on, on Facebook, on Twitter, etc. People can register for this event. And in doing so, what will happen is automatically they will be sent the invitation and the link to click on the event and to be able to join it at the right time. It will also send them a warning 10 minutes before or I can choose the type 20 minutes before or half an hour before to say to them, don't forget the event's going to take place. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. So I've turned that on. I'm also going to come over to automation and I'm going to set a few things that will automatically happen. So uh, one of the most useful things is that automatically we're going to send a thank you to them with a link through to the Express Publishing webpage and I'm going to add that in there. We'll also send them an automatic thank you with a copy of the recording of the webinar and all of that will be done automatically. I won't have to do any of it. So that's one of the reasons why I really like working with Click Meeting. The other reason, if I just come back and open up my permanent classroom, so I have a permanent classroom here, I'm just going to click on it. Why I like it is, is the layout. It's just so easy to use. So I'm logged into Click meeting now. What I love is I've got all these buttons here on the left hand side. Everything's in one place. Bang. I want to do AV view. All right. So I want to just do a video conference with you or with more people. I just click, everyone just clicks on and all the different video conferencing tools come on. So you could have five, six people all in a, in a, in a video conference. And I've done that and it works really well. So that can be nice because I can jump into that AV view. And then suddenly I want to do a presentation. So I just click on one of my presentations and bang, just upload it on the screen and I run for it. Boom, 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 boom. And I can even interact with that presentation if I want to draw around it, choose a better color for, for that. Um, then I, I can do that as well, okay? And then if I want to suddenly go to my interactive whiteboard, so I've got my interactive whiteboard on the screen now, and then suddenly I can use an interactive whiteboard. But the great thing is I can click back and just jump back again. And what about if I want to play a video? Well, I just come down to video, and then I can just choose a video I want to play, and it's like almost instant. Bang, the video's ready. And now let's say I want to do screen share. So I just click on screen share and open up the screen. It's just so easy to work with Click Meeting. I just love the way all the buttons are set up on the on the left hand side. And then I want to end the meeting, just click here and just say bang, end meeting. And that's the reason why I really have fallen in love with the technology. I love the way it automates everything and I love the way it kind of organizes um, all of the buttons on the left hand side. Of course, just like all these tools, it takes five minutes. Uh, sorry, you know, a few minutes, a few hours to kind of learn to use it well. But once you've got it down, it's a great tool.